All right, so today I'm going to show you how to get this PDA net working on the Motorola Droid. You're going to go to the market, and then you're going to go to the search up in the corner, and you are going to type in PDA net in the search. And right there it is, PDA Net Free Edition. I already have it installed. You were going to click on it. And you're going to go down, it's going to say install right there instead of open. So you're going to want to install that. Right after you're done installing it, you'll get a little icon in the corner of your droid. Pull that down, say PDA Net Free Edition. Click on it. You'll get this. And then you want to click enable USB tether. And it will say USB Tether requires PDA Net Desktop Client to be installed on the computer. And do you want to download it from our website? Since you don't have a working internet connection on your laptop, you're going to say, yes, let me download it. It's going to open up in the browser. And then you're going to download the PDA Net, PDA Net installer here. And then it's going to start downloading. So we're going to let that go. Okay, so after that's done downloading, you are going to want to connect your droid. It will say droid. Then up in the corner there, up here, you're going to see a little, you can't really see it, icon, USB icon. And you are going to want to pull the menu down. Where it says USB connected, select a copy of files. You're going to click it and that's going to say you just connected your phone to your computer via USB select mount if you want to copy files click mount okay and then you'll get a pop up on your computer this is Windows 7 but it'll work the same way on Vista removable disk F okay you want to open folder to view files and then it's going to be in your download folder on your droid and you just go to click on PDA net drag it to your desktop and once that's copied over double click on it you get do you want to allow yes next accept okay PDA net for Android Next. Okay, we're going to hit yes. And it says, please make sure your Android phone has been disconnected from the computer. Okay, so go back here. And you want to pull the drop down menu back. And it's a message from Josh Honda. You want to turn off USB storage. You should probably disconnect it from here first, though. Uh, safely remove hardware. Motorola 855. This is okay. It's okay to remove hardware. And then turn off USB sharing here. Then that's off. And then you can unplug it. It's kind of hard to unplug with one hand. And it's unplugged. And then follow the steps on the screen up here. After it says disconnect phone now, click OK when you're done. And then it will install the drivers. You're probably going to get this message a couple of times. Um, Windows can't verify the publisher. It's OK. Just hit install this driver anyway. And it'll probably pop up again a couple times. Just keep clicking install anyway. Okay, then after a while you're going to get this message. It says, please perform the following steps to complete USB driver installation on your Android phone. Go to settings, application and development, enable USB debugging. Okay, so you're going to go back to your Android phone here and click the menu button. Settings is in the corner. Then you're going to go to applications, then development then USB debugging. So it says allow, yes. Okay, and USB debugging is allowed. 
Then we plug the phone back in. And then it will say in the corner there, installing device software. And then your device is ready to use. And then it says select OK to continue if the driver has been installed. And then it will set up the modem driver and install the rest of PDA Net to your phone. Okay, thank you for installing PDA Net for Android. So after everything's installed, it says PDA Net is currently turned off. Go ahead with it unplugged. Okay, with it unplugged, you're going to enable USB tether. Verify your internet connection, it's on, and the background ready to run. Then after you have enabled USB tether, go ahead, plug your phone in, and then it will say PDA NAS connected, and it will start sending bytes across the network. And then if you go up to your status icon here, you might have to click connect, but mine is already connected, connected to PDA NAS modem. And you can open Internet Explorer. And you've got internet. And that's the easiest way to do it.